Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about implicit differentiation. And for each problem, we're going to use implicit differentiation to find dy dx in terms of x and y. So, if I was given this problem, 4x squared equals 2y the third plus 4y. Well, what do I do? I'm going to use implicit differentiation, and we treat everything the same except for like the y's. So, 2 times 4, power comes down, we had a 8 here, x, so drag x multiplied by 1, the first power. Same thing with the y's, but we're going to have a little extra step. 3 times 2 is 6, y, so drag x multiplied by 1, we have to the second power. Times the derivative of y, which is dy dx. Plus, now, 4 being a constant, we kind of put out in front, 4 times, well, derivative of y is dy dx. We have 4 dy dx here. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to actually pull out a dy dx. I see it's being multiplied really here in both, uh, both parts of that plus sign. So 8x here oops, 8x is equal. So let's go pull out a dy dx, dy dx out front, times what's left, right? 6y squared plus 4. Okay? So I just gonna 6y squared plus 4 there and dy dx right out front. Now, I can divide, since it's multiplication there, divide by 6y squared to both sides. 6y squared plus 4 to both sides. And then, yeah, we're finally, so we have dy dx by itself. So I'm going to put dy dx to the left now. I like it like there, uh, right there. A and x up top over when I'm dividing 6y squared plus 4 to both sides. 6y squared plus 4 to both sides. And there we have it, our final answer. So let's recap. We're given 4x squared plus 2y to the third plus 4. Why? Well, I first derive that. 2 comes down times 4 is 8. x equals here 3 times 2 is 6. Uh, so x went by 1, 6, y squared, times dy dx, the derivative of y, plus well, the derivative of 4y is 4 dy dx. Now, we want to get dy dx by itself. So, using algebra, pull that dy dx out front here, multiply by what's left, 6x squared plus 4. Derive, derive that parenthesis to both sides, leaving me dy dx by itself is equal to 8x over 6y squared plus 4. Now, if you really wanted to, you could pull out a 2 in both parts of the denominator there, uh, and then eliminate part of it. So a little bit up to you, when you can, that's fine. You have, was it, 4x over 3y squared plus 2? Up to you, but either way, we have our 